Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here, and if you're here, you have a problem with your Proton Tricks. You run it and it gives you some sort of a strange error message. It's not working like it's supposed to. You're very frustrated. So here's the error that you might see. Invalid file magic number. Now this is due to some changes in the Steam operating system. So what we're gonna need to do is uninstall your existing version of Proton Tricks. Just go up here and hit remove here in the Discover Store. And then once it's done removing, go ahead and delete the settings and user data. All right, so now you have no Proton Tricks. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do now is install the beta version. So we're gonna open up a console window and we're gonna be typing some commands in. Uh, I recommend cut and paste, plug a mouse in. It's a lot easier to do this. Go to this URL, monroeworld.com slash steam deck slash proton.txt. And there are two commands here you're going to need to run in your console. Make sure you click the paste button instead of hitting control V if you happen to have a keyboard so it doesn't insert anything weird. You won't get any response from that first line. Go to the second line. Make sure you don't get the command too. <laughs> Copy that. And again, use the paste button in the console to paste it in. Now, if you did everything right, you're gonna see this query asking you if you wanna proceed, say yes. Now, essentially what's happening is Proton Tricks beta with fixes for the exact problem I just showed you in place. So you can close your console and close your browser. Now here's your Proton Tricks. It looks just the same as the other one. It'd be very difficult actually for you to tell if it's the right one or not. Open up Discover, go to Installed, scroll down until you find Proton Tricks, select it, and you'll see right here it says distributed by Flathub Beta, Flathub Beta. So that is the new beta version. We're gonna go ahead and launch it. Hey, if you see this screen, this means that your SD card won't be seen by Proton Tricks. So they've given you a command right here to cut out or copy and paste it into your console. That will give Proton Tricks access to your micro SD card where you have games installed. Otherwise, it won't see it. There you go. That's it. That's all there is to that. And of course, they tell you you need to restart Proton Tricks. So let's close Proton Tricks and reopen Proton Tricks. By the way, this is a drinking game. Every time I say Proton Tricks, you take a drink. Okay, so here's Proton Tricks. It doesn't look any different, but it will actually work the way you hoped. Hey, listen, if you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.